Hello everybody, nice to see you again. Today we continue Unit 8, Lesson 5 and 6. Let's learn with Miss Nhung. Okay, let's sing a song to warm up. The song's name is Saturday Was the Best of All. Listening 72 Listen and sing. Saturday was the best of all. Monday was bad. I lost my hat. Tuesday was worse. I broke my bat. Wednesday was the worst of all. I bumped my Look at the picture. What animal is it? And how about this? What animal is it? Grasshopper. Today our lesson is about these animals. Our story is the ant and the grasshopper. Do you know this story? What do you think about the grasshopper? What did he do in the story? How about the ant? What did he do in the story? Let's find out. Okay, everyone. Look at picture one and answer my questions. What season is it? What is the rust harbor doing? What is the ant doing? Picture 2 What season is it? How does the grasshopper feel? Is he cold? Is he hungry? Picture 3 What is the ant giving to the grasshopper? And what do you think the ant is saying? Listening 75. Listen and read. The Ant and the Grasshopper It was a summer day. The grasshopper was sitting in the sun, playing his violin. An ant walked by with an enormous piece of corn on his back. That corn looks heavy, said the grasshopper. Come and play with me. The ant was tired and hot. He pointed at a pile of corn. I can't. This is my food for the winter, he said. There isn't any food then, so I must prepare now. The grasshopper laughed. Don't worry about winter, he said. It's summer now, and there's lots of food. Soon the weather became very cold, and there was deep snow and ice. The grasshopper looked for food but he couldn't find any. I'm hungry, said the grasshopper to the ant. Please, can I share your food? The ant had lots of food, and he was kind. Yes, you can, said the ant, and he gave the grasshopper some corn. But next year, you mustn't be lazy. You must prepare for winter. Students, look at the words, listen and repeat. Enormous, enormous. Prepare, prepare. Worry, worry. Share, share. Lazy, lazy. Now, make sentences with these words. For example, the rice hopper is lazy. Do you understand? After you make sentences, let's copy 
three lines. Okay. Now, students, look at your book and read the story again. Then complete the sentences in page sixty-two. You have one minute to do it. Have you finished your exercise? Okay, let's check. Number one, the rat hopper played his violin. Number two, the ant carried some heavy corn. Number three, there is lots of food in the summer. Number four. That winter, the ant was very tired. Are you correct? Everybody, after you read the story, can you tell me what is the moral of the story? I mean, what can you learn from the story? Okay, the story teaches us it's good to work hard. So I have all of you work hard. Don't be lazy. Promise. It's time to listen now. We will listen to another fable. Do you want to know what story? Okay, the story is the boy who cried wolf. Do you know the story? What did the boy do? Did the wolf come the first time he shouted? How about the second time? Did the people listen to him? What happened in the end? Okay, guys. Let's listen. Listening seventy six. Listen to this fable and check the correct moral. One. The boy who cried wolf. Once there was a boy who looked after sheep every day up in the mountains. Nothing ever happened, and he was, and he was very bored. Two. One day, he ran down the mountain to the market in the nearby village and shouted, "Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! A wolf is going to eat the sheep!" Three. The people ran up the mountain to help the boy, but there was no wolf. <laughs> It's a joke. There isn't really a wolf," said the boy, laughing. Four. The people from the village were very angry with the boy. They didn't laugh at his joke. Five. The next day, a wolf really did come to the mountains. The boy was very scared, so he ran to the village. Six. Again, he shouted, "Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf!" A wolf is going to eat the sheep, but this time no one helped the boy. No one believed him. There isn't really a wolf, they said, laughing. And then, the wolf, the boy's sheep. As you know, a fable is a story with a moral. It teaches you how to behave. The moral of this fable is: two, never say things that are not true. Listening seventy six. Listen to this fable and check the correct moral.
One. The boy who cried wolf. Once there was a boy who looked after sheep every day up in the mountains. Nothing ever happened, and he was, and he was very bored. Two. One day he ran down the mountain to the market in the nearby village and shouted, "Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! A wolf is going to eat the sheep!" Three. The people ran up the mountain to help the boy, but there was no wolf. <laughs> It's a joke. There isn't really a wolf," said the boy, laughing. Four. The people from the village were very angry with the boy. They didn't laugh at his joke. Five. The next day, a wolf really did come to the mountains. The boy was very scared, so he ran to the village. Six. Again, he shouted, "Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf!" A wolf is going to eat the sheep, but this time no one helped the boy. No one believed him. There isn't really a wolf, they said, laughing. And then, the wolf, the boy's sheep. Can you put the pictures in the correct order? Okay, let's check. Number one, B. Number two, A. Number three, C. Number four, D. Number five, E. Number six, F. Are you right? Hey guys, let's practice speaking. Students, look at the pictures and tell a story. This is a modern version of the boy who cried wolf. Mimi, can you tell a story? Yes, a girl was in the yard. She was, but her mom was inside. The girl shouted, "Help! Help!" She told her mom, "She." Saw a snake. Her mom ran out to help. It's a trick. There isn't a snake," said the girl, laughing. The next day, there was a real snake, and the girl. Was very scared, so she shouted, "Help! Help! Snake! Snake!" But this time, her mom thought it wasn't true, so she stayed inside. Students. Now your turn. It's time for writing now. Before we do exercise four, take a look and remember it. Do row nouns. Add to the singular nouns. For example, one hand, two hands, one bed, two beds. However, we have some special cases. Some stay the same in plural, but some are completely different. So you have to remember, okay? And now, do exercise four. Circle the blue rows that are different. Underline the blue rows stay the same. 
You have 60 seconds for this exercise. Have you finished, guys? Look and check your work. You are very good. Students, the last exercise for you. Circle and write. Open your book, page 63 and do in your book. Do you understand? Look at my work. There are two stories. One is called The Ant and the Grasshopper and one is called The Boy Who Cried Wolf. I think that The Boy Who Cried Wolf is a better story because it teaches us never to say things that are not true. Students at home practice reading the story. Do workbook of Unit 8, Lesson 5 and 6. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. Goodbye everyone, see you next week!